Alright, so I'm finally back from Turkey and this is actually the first video that I record since coming back and it feels a little odd that I'm gonna be honest with that. Like what I mean is that it, like as a YouTuber basically, and this probably goes for streamers I suppose, but every time you take a vacation, you feel like your channel will die <laughs> by the time you're back, which is quite a depressing feeling. But now I can clearly see that you guys are still here, so thank you for not leaving me to rot over here. I would be a little depressed if I was just alone making videos on the channel. But now that I know you guys haven't left me alone, we are going to talk about the remarkable release of Unity 2018.1, which was previously available in beta up until a couple days ago. And if you enjoyed the video, guys, make sure to leave a like down below. All the thumbs ups are super appreciated. And now without further ado, let's check out what actually comes with this update. Okay, so before we begin with the video, I just want to mention that we just hit 50,000 subscribers, which is... I don't even know anymore. Actually, hold on. Now that I think of it, where do you guys drop in from? Like, how? 50,000 people? Are you kidding me? No, but really though, I am solely interested in hearing from you guys how you decided to join the community for the first time and become a part of the content. And besides, I also want to, like... Obviously, 50,000 people is not a small number, I'm gonna be honest, it's a huge milestone for me, but I also want to make sure we never lose this human factor that we have between each other in terms of how we interact on a day-to-day -day basis, and you guys interact with me, I interact with you, you interact with each other, like that's the kind of community that I want to make sure we keep on building no matter how big this channel becomes. And I don't want to make this too long, but before ending this part, I just want to give a huge shout out and thank you to all of you who joined the community not just for the subscriptions obviously the number is important but also for being a part of the community being a part of the discussions that we run and for interacting with me and each other I just appreciate seeing you guys every day here now though let's get into the topic so second of this month unity released 2018.1 as a public version which means it's no longer in beta so it's available as freely as possible as they also describe it it marks the start of a new cycle that introduces a major upgrade to the core technology which gives artists, developers, and engineers the power to express their talents and collaborate more efficiently to make their AAA dreams a reality. As always, I also want to quickly mention the fact that I'm going to leave all the links you need in the description in case you want to check out their full blog post and also download Unity 2018.1. But basically, the two main attraction points with this specific release are the two new features named Scriptable Render Pipeline, also named SRP, and the C-Sharp Job System, which also includes Entity Component System, also shortened to ECS. Now, we're obviously going to talk about both of these features and all the other features that follow within this update, but first and foremost, let's talk about SRP. So SRP is now available in preview with this version of Unity, and you can basically use it to customize the rendering pipeline via C-sharp code and material shaders. And this basically gives you the maximum control you need without having to digest all the C++ engine code, which luckily enough, Unity was like, hey, we're going to take care of this part for you and you just have to use SRP for optimizing your games as you wish to. Also, in order to make this transition easier for us all, Unity is also introducing two out-of-the-box render pipelines that we can use. You probably already heard of their names, but one is called the High Definition Render Pipeline, also named the HD SRP, and the other one is named Lightweight Render Pipeline. And there's a lot of people that I usually ask like, what's the difference between these two? And there's a very fine line. So I'm going to describe really quickly. So the HD SRP is basically for developers who strive to create AAA looking games. Meanwhile, the lightweight one is a little bit more for basically mobile development platforms. And it basically also optimizes the battery life for mobile devices so that you can obviously make sure your game runs as smoothly as possible. Meanwhile, HD SRP is for more visual quality and making a realistic photorealistic look. And then we have ECS, the the new programming model in Unity, which together with the new runtime system enables you to take full advantage of multi-core processors without the programming headache. In easier words, basically, you can basically increase the number of complex components in your games, such as effects, you know, AI, particles, and all that kind of stuff, and still have a well-optimized product in your hands. Now, I'm gonna be a little bit biased here, but one of my favorite topics, level design, also gets a level up with this version of Unity, and the reason 
reason I'm happy over this, you probably already know this in case you're like day one fan of the channel, but I'm basically a level designer as well, so it's a lot of fun to see that level designing gets promoted here. But basically, you now have tools like Pro Builder and Polybrush that will make it like 10 times easier to make levels for your games. And there's also a new visual shader creation tool called Shader Graph that's basically like a it's literally visual programming, but for shaders. That's exactly what it is. And all of these tools, including Shader Graph, now are available with Unity 2018.1, and it's available for download, obviously. And they are incredibly powerful and proves that Unity is striving to fit a broader user group, but also listens to their you know, users and make sure that they provide you with whatever you feel like is missing from Unity right now. Personally, what I love the most with Unity 2018, even though these are just like the first couple of steps into the public releases, is that Unity focuses a lot more on the visual quality side of things now. And we have now started seeing true next-gen graphics, and not only do they say, hey, here you have a super complex SRP system and just throw it into your face, they literally provide you with lightweight and the HD SRP so that you can use it for two different ways of making games. Like if you're making mobile games, go for lightweight. If you're making a AAA looking game and you want to strive for visual quality and still have it optimized, go for HD SRP and you can edit the render pipeline as you wish to. You're not limited anymore. Also, with this latest version of Unity, you also get the package manager, user interface, Unity Hub, and project templates, all of which will help you get new projects started faster and even more efficiently. And that is pretty much it for this video guys. I wanted to keep it all clean, tidy up, and short to not bore you guys to death on my first video since my return. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video where we just talked a little bit about Unity 2018.1. And once again, obviously if you want to check out even more details, you can look through their blog posts and even download Unity's latest version for free by clicking the links in the description down below. And don't forget that you can join the discussion on our Discord server called Leetos by joining through the link in the description and the pinned comment as well and on there we basically run giveaways we you can meet like-minded people we interact with each other which i'm very active in by the way i'm just going to brag a little bit but it's the truth it's the honest truth i'm just saying and once again if you did enjoy the video and would like to see more of these type of content make sure to drop a like down below all the thumbs ups are pretty much used for me to measure what kind of content you guys would like to see and not like to see on the channel and before ending the video i also want to give you a huge shout out to to all of our patrons who support the content and this channel, I want to th especially thank Richard Stance, Cupola, Trombear MCP, GI Jojo, and everyone else who support the content. You guys are super, I appreciate you so much. It's really not needed, but you guys still do it because you want to show support, and that's so much appreciated. And if you're also interested in checking out more information on how you can support me and the content, make sure to check out our Patreon link also in the description down below. And now with that being said, once again, thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say regarding what got you into the community and to watch my videos on this channel since we are celebrating 50k subscribers as I said in the beginning of this video and I'm looking forward to hear what you have to say in the comments if you haven't yet make sure to do so because I'm always responsive as well once again thank you for watching thank you for 50k subs thank you for being here thank you for not leaving me after my turkey vacation and um, yeah with that being said I'll catch you in the comments or in the discord server see you guys peace out have a good night